everyone, it's John from Nickton Gaming, and I'm going to go over how you can create a really nice custom shader using Shader Graph that is going to work for the Canvas UI screen space overlay, which is well documented as being impossible to do. So I will try to do this as quick and concise as possible. My editor version will be 2022.3.5F1. I'll be using a 2D core with a built-in render pipeline. Uh, this also works with 3D and any of the others as long as you have the built-in render pipeline. And so without further ado, here's my project. I will talk about my Canvas or yeah, my uh, scene really fast, but uh, first we want to go to Window Package Manager, go to Packages Unity Registry, scroll down until you see Shader Graph. If you don't have it installed, make sure you click Install. You know it's installed when you see the green check mark, check mark and the Remove button. Make sure you don't remove it. Now let's look at my scene. So in my scene, I have a canvas with two images on it. I have a colored image and a white image, which are just default images I had laying around my computer to show you a demonstration with. So my dice icon is just going to be a transparent white picture. And then I have a house of a uh, house that I made in Blender years back. And they are both the texture type sprite, 2D and UI. So colored image has a house, white image has the um, dice. Now to start seeing what we're doing, I actually have my, um, we need to first make these for the sprite renderer. So if I turn this on, we can see that I have my dice icon as my sprite renderer, and let's actually set it to the default material. All right, so I just changed some settings back real quick. Um, and without further ado, let's get into uh, working on these shader graphs to add a gradient to this. So in my assets, I'll right click, go to create, and we want to start off with a shader graph built in unlit shader graph, which I'm going to call my gradient. I will uh, save that. I will right click on it, go to create material. You can also do this by setting the material yourself. Then I will type gradient, there we go. Then I'm going to drag this gradient onto my uh, dice image and onto my colored image. And you see that right away, it kind of breaks everything in a way that we don't want it, but we'll get to that quite soon. And we also see this error where it says we need a um, underscore main text, texture property. Now let's double click on our gradient and we see the empty one. Let's click plus, we want texture 2D, which we'll name main text. You'll notice that when we click on this, it actually gives us the reference underscore main text, which we needed to add. Let me show you some of my settings. So here are the settings for the main text, and here are the settings for my graph. We do need to change a few things. So surface type needs to be transparent, make sure blending mode is alpha, and everything else stays default. You can look there. The next thing I want to do is I want to create a gradient property, um, and this is just kind of an extra thing that we will see used later. Now let's get into putting things together. It's going to be quite a bit of stuff, so uh, just follow along and I'll do my best to explain as we go. So drag the main text in. This would be the image texture that we're using. I'm going to drag this over and create a sample texture 2D. Not the LOD, but the sample texture 2D. I can scroll in a little bit. Uh, let's move this down. Uh, keep the UV2 same, all that. I'm going to drag the RGBA out, and I want to create a multiply. Multiply A4. Now the multiply is going to combine this sample texture with, if I click create node, I want my vector color. Or vertex color, not vector color. I'm sorry, vertex color. Vertex color is going to be the color of the sprite and the image component. So it's quite versatile there. I'm going to drag the out to where it says B4. And then I'm going to drag this multiply out. Let me just uh, minimize that since it doesn't show anything yet. And I'm going to drag this out to another multiply. Multiply is a thing that combines two um, colors together. Now let's work on our gradient and we'll combine them later. So gradient, drag this out. We want the sample gradient. For the time, we actually want to right click over here, create node, and we want a UV. Now the UV is a thing that helps us display the gradient. So I want to drag this out and take a split. Now we see the RGBA. R is for horizontal. Uh, let me actually set my gradient here. So I'll click on gradient. I'll click the default and I'm just going to create a very basic black and white gradient. Feel free to play around and make whatever gradient you want. And you'll see that it's a bit too light. The gradient that actually matches Unity is the blend mode perceptual, um, but blend mode perceptual for some reason does not work. Here are the rest of them. So we can't actually expose gradient, which is very sad. Now I have the gradient dragged in here and I have the R dragged in here. If you want it vertical, drag in the G. If you want it all white, B, all black, A. But I'm going to make a horizontal gradient this time around. Now I want to multiply this so it looks more like the perceptual one. So I'm going to just multiply it by itself by doing that. And now we see that it's a much darker gradient which matches more what we want. And I'm actually going to drag this gradient up to this multiply. So I'm now multiplying the gradient by the texture and the vertex color. And we are ready to start applying these to our fragment. Almost. So I'll drag the outlet down here. We want another split so we can get just the alpha. Drag that onto alpha. Put that there. Make sure you click Save Asset because Control S doesn't work and right away we see it apply. If I turn off my dice image and turn on my house image, we see that the gradient applies there and the color works too. So we can even 
you know, add the vertex color very nicely, as well as adding the sprite to it. Now, if we go over to my canvas, let me just turn that off or deactivate it, turn this on. If I try to add my gradient material here, we see it turns into a big black block, and we don't want that. So I'm going to right click in my assets, I'm going to create a shader, and I'm just going to go with an unlit shader. And I'm going to name this my canvas gradient. I'm going to go into it again. I'm going to right click on my canvas gradient. I'm going to create a material based on that. We see that it's applied it right away. I'm going to call this my canvas gradient. Then I'm going to select both my colored and my white, and I'm going to drag that canvas gradient onto the material property. And we see that it still doesn't seem to work, but we'll get into that in just a second. So let me uh, save my scene and let's double click on the canvas to open that up. Now, on the left-hand side, we see we have my canvas gradient, and if we click on the gradient, we can say View Generated Shader. And let's go over here. This is the old one. All right. And we see that we have this, and it has a thing called Pass, Name Pass, Light Mode, Forward Base. And if we look, if we Control F for Pass, we can see that there are about one, two, three, four, five main passes. And we don't want any of these passes other than the first Light Mode Forward Base Pass. So I'm actually going to copy from Properties to Tags. I will copy that and I'm going to paste it in on top of this. Next, I'm going to select from pass all the way to the end HL, the very first one. Make sure you don't go past the second pass. So just keep on scrolling. There we go, end HSLSS. Then I'm going to copy this and go all the way down to the bottom where it says end CG, and I'll paste it in there. And I'm going to go all the way back up to the top and I'm going to delete this tag. Let's save that. And if we go back to Unity, we see that I am missing a semicolon at the bottom or not a semicolon, a curly bracket. So let's just add one in, go back, and let's double check some stuff. All right, I see my issue here. I just copied too many passes. So I'll delete that, save it, go back. There we go, now it's working. And you see that we actually have a gradient on our canvas UI, which we can change the color of. And if we look at the colored image as well, we see that it applies to colored images, keeping the uh, image with the uh, shader. And that's how you would apply it. If you want to change anything, like if I want to change my gradient from being white to black to some other gradient, maybe I want it white to red with nice pink in the middle, then you would do the same thing. You just change it. You uh, make sure you save asset. You click regenerate, view generated shader. You copy this. You go here. You go to the whole thing. Go to end HSLS, paste it. Go all the way back up. Make sure you didn't make any mistakes like I did last time. We go back and we see that it is now doing the white to red gradient. If I switch back to white, it's a bit easier to see. And there you go. That is how you can work with um, gradients with a shader using the shader graph kind of in Unity. So thank you for watching, and I hope that this helps you as much as it helped me.